I know that some of you have problems using PGCLI. I, to be honest, didn't expect that it would cause so many problems. That's why I want to record this video to show you an alternative, how can you can use Jupyter Notebooks to do checks to see that your connection, your PGA uh, Postgres uh, set up correctly and you can use it. So if you didn't have any problems with PGCLI, you can skip this video. But if you had some problems, um, check it out. Here I show how you can use Jupyter and Pandas to communicate with Postgres. So what I already have is uh, I have I'm running this in Docker. I'm running in Postgres in the same way as I showed in the in the videos, and also I am running Jupyter. So in Jupyter I created already a notebook. So it's called PG Test Connection. I will commit this notebook to the repo, and what we have in this um, notebook is uh, yeah. So let me restart it. So in this notebook. Um, I already have pandas and uh, I want to read 100 first 100 rows uh, from um, uh, our CSV file and then I do this uh, processing like we discussed in the video. Um, so now I want to check if I can actually uh, and before that um, so before we load any in any data uh, that's that's something that will come actually later. So I wanted to show you how we can, connect to an instance of Postgres running uh, on our computer. So for that I will use uh, SQL Alchemy, which is a special, which is a wrapper around uh, uh, a library for connecting to Postgres. The reason I am going to use uh, SQL Alchemy is because it uh, then later we can use it with pandas for inserting the data, for executing the queries, it just makes things easier. So you, if you use Anaconda, you should have SQL Alchemy uh, if you don't, then you'll, uh, you'll just need to do to install it, and then you will also need to install um, a Python uh, package for uh, for Postgres. I think it's called PsyCobpg. Sci Every time I try to remember this name, I have problems. <laughs> so you will need to do pip install SQL Alch so Alchemy and this PsyCobpg uh, or PsyCobpg to binary uh, if you have problems installing just psychopg so i will not uh, do that here but let me add this uh, for you for comments uh, yeah so this should be a markdown so yeah so we have that uh, we already have pandas here um, if you use anaconda you already have everything you need and now i will need to import from sql alchemy i will need to import Alchemy import. Uh, I don't remember what I need to import. They have a, a cheat sheet here. So I'll just uh, copy it, create engine indeed. And then in this create engine, and by the way, we also do this in the video. So let me just uh, copy this uh, quickly so we don't spend time on that. So username, password, host, port, database schema. And then we can test if things work by running this um, uh, engine connect. Okay. So now we see that the connection is there. It means that our database is up and running. So it's good. Now uh, what we did with PGCLI, we did this, um, we run this um, backslash DT to check what are the tables there. And let's do something similar now using, uh, using pandas. So in pandas, in PD, we have this thing called read, uh, read SQL, and that uh, allows us to use pandas to execute arbitrary SQL statements uh, for our database. So, for example, we can do, let me write query, query, uh, it will be a simple query like uh, select one, just to check that it works. And then here I'll write query and then connection will be engine. And we see that it actually sends a query to Postgres and returns us the results. Then we can say as uh, I don't know, number. Okay, so now we have uh, some result set that is coming from the database to our um, Jupyter. And now let's execute a different thing. So remember to what we did with PG, uh, PGCLI. We did this uh, minus, uh, backslash DT. 
to execute that to see what are the available tables in uh, our database. And when we do this, we get syntax error. So it tries to execute this, but it's not a standard uh, SQL. That's why Panda says, I don't know what to do with this. And that's why what we need to do, yeah, I found this on the internet in uh, this source that we actually uh, internally what uh, slash dd does is something similar to that. So we'll just need to replace uh, this uh, dt with this query. And we see that there are no tables, right? Because we didn't um, create any table. So right now let us insert this table. So we'll do dt to SQL, uh, df, sorry, to SQL, to SQL, and then so name will be, and this is the name of the database. I don't remember what I used in the video. Uh, trip. And then, yeah, index false. So let me execute that. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, it also needs connection. Okay, and now if we execute the same query, now we have actually uh, um, a table there with some data and we can actually uh, execute now uh, yeah we can execute another query so let's say we will now select uh, the first 10 uh, rows from this data, uh, from this table maybe it doesn't mean Yeah, I forgot from, of course, from, yeah, so now it shows, and it gives us uh, already a, a pandas data frame, so we can do whatever we want with this, if you know pandas. So this is an alternative to using PGCLI. If PGCLI gives you problems, you cannot install it, you can just test your connection using this method. So that's all I wanted to show. Uh, to show you. I hope it was useful and uh, see you soon. Bye.